Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Apocalypse 2. It is the morning of day 8 and here in my workbench I have everything that we're going to need to craft the cement mixer except for an engine. So we need to find one of those today and I was able to unlock the cement mixer recipe because last night I had three skill points and I put one of them into advanced engineering level 2 and with the other two skill points we're going to go into intellect again and into strength again. Because I want to be one strong fucking nerd. Now, the goals for today are to find an engine, like I just said, for the cement mixer. Which we can start right now by taking this car apart. And the other goal is to open up the next trader. Now, according to you guys, in order to get that special job that will send us to the next trader, we have to complete ten jobs for Rick first. And I don't know how many we've done so far. Six? Seven, maybe? So... We're going to try and crank out as many quests as we can today and see if we can unlock that special job that will send us to the new trader. Oh, uh, you know, and there is one other thing I want to do today, and that is craft a chem station, which we need a beaker to do that. Now, we already have a beaker in our campfire, but if I can avoid pulling that out, I will. So we'll keep an eye out for one today while we're looting, or if we happen to unlock this new trader, we'll see if they have one for sale. But if we can't find one or buy one today, then tonight when we get back home, I'll pull the beaker out of our campfire, and I'll use that one to craft the chem station. This place again? All right, whatever. Let's just push through it. I will loot some things, like this box here, and I'm certainly going to grab the main loot. And we can use the cement and cobblestone, so fuck it. We'll grab that too. Oh, <laughs> that looked like it hurt. I have to put him out of his misery. Oh, blew his arm off. Now, if I blow his other arm off, is he completely harmless? He'll probably still try and bite me. But if you're careful, you can dismember both of their arms and both of their legs. Then they're just like a torso with a head on the ground screaming. And it takes a special kind of psychopath to want to try and pull that off. So if you have before, then welcome to the club. I'm sure we're going to be great friends. Nice, got a good amount of shotgun shells. Now we just need to find a shotgun. You know, we got a good amount of magnum ammo too. I didn't think we did. I forget we keep getting all of this ammo from Rick for doing these quests. But the other day I passed up on a level 1 magnum he had for only 800 coin. But that's alright. It was only a level 1 besides. The Desert Eagle also shoots the magnum ammo. So that's what I want to save all that ammo for. Fuck the magnum. We want the Desert Eagle. Oh, we can scrap that sledge, but... This double storage pocket mod, let's throw that on um, our leg armor. Yeah, here we go. We also got uh, level 6 chest armor. So let's pull the mod out of the level 4. Put that in the level 6 and throw that on. And we also got level 6 boots. So let's do the same thing with those. One more thing before we leave. There's a crate in this attic. And it's a shotgun messiah crate. Nice, look at that. I love finding throwables in loot, don't you? It's much more satisfying than crafting them. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. It's hour seven, the first quest is complete. Let's get back to Rick's and get another one. Got a bunch of cars in the parking lot over here. Let's stop and see if we can find this engine. Man, no engine. Got a lot of parts and gasoline, though, so can't complain. I still want to stop home, though, and drop this stuff off into storage before we go see Rick. Then we'll go get our reward, pick up another job, and uh, unless he's unless that was it, unless that was number 10 and he's got that special job, then we'll head for the trader. If not, I think he's got a close-by buried supplies last time I looked. Oh, look at that. Fucking sick jump right there. Uh, so a close-by buried supplies would be great because we can do that relatively quickly. What's up, Rick? I'm here for my reward. Batter up volume three. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to read that. We're taking the 762. 
Let's take a quick look at his inventory, see if he has a beaker that I may have missed, and then we'll take a look at his jobs. Well, I guess we'll do this fetch quest. It's like right next door. Super close by. It might not go as quick as a buried supplies quest, but at least we'll get some more loot out of the deal. Uh, sugar butts for better bartering. Uh, no. Sneak damage. No. The eye candy loot bonus. Yes, I'll take that. And uh, you know what? I'll take the sugar butts too. What the hell? Alright, I'll try and make this quick. Any zombies in here? Hey, yes, there are. Come on out. Dad, looks like there's a wall safe in here too. So the plan is to clear all the zombies out first. And then once we get to the main loot, we'll eat that loot candy we have. Uh, and then we'll loot this place, kind of work our way backwards. Come on out of there. Oh, shit. I was too eager. Little pantry right here. Okay, let's get down into the basement. It's got to be where the main loot is. And where more zombies are. Oh, are you okay, lady? <laughs> See, that's what you want to do. Wait until they're done stumbling and then get the easy shot in the back of the head. Here's this guy. Oh, there goes that guy. Here's another one. Oh, I guess that's it. Here's the main loot. And here's the satchel. Let's see if we can be a weasel and grab it without having to break that plate. Got it. Okay, let's eat this uh, loot candy. We'll loot this place and we'll get out of here. It's just, uh, it's halfway past uh, hour 10, so we should at least be able to get, what, two more quests in for Rick today? I think that seems reasonable. Maybe three? We'll see. Who knows? This could be the 10th one. Uh, maybe I should have counted how many jobs we did, but I didn't feel like going back and watching every video again. We just, we got to do what we got to do, right? So we just put the blinders up and we push forward. Don't worry about numbers or anything. Ooh, iron shovel right there. Finally get rid of this stone shovel. I think we're slowly transitioning now into the Iron Age. You know, I have seen a handful of people that don't really like the new loot system, but you can't think of it as a loot system. You have to think of it as a progression system. And personally, I really like it. It forces you to use all of the tools and the weapons in the game. You start with the stone stuff, you work your way up to level 6, and like you slowly transition into iron tools, then steel tools, and better weapons. It just makes sense, and it makes the game feel like there is some sort of progression. That's what it's meant to do. And it's still sort of random. Josh found a double barrel shotgun on day one. We found a handgun and a rifle on what, day five? And when I was having trouble finding the wrench, a few people said they found a wrench on day one. So there is still a chance to find iron tools and guns in the first few days. It's just more rare. Now there still might be some balancing that the fun pimps want to do with the system, but personally, I think it's much better. And it doesn't really slow you down in other areas. You know, we still had a forge and a workbench and a bicycle and a mini bike before day seven. Got a heist book. Let's check that out real quick. Find 10% more jewelry and precious gems when looting. Okay. That works. Oh, you know another thing I heard? You can't get radiators from radiators anymore. Shit, no, we didn't get one. I guess that's true. Let's try it again. Just make sure it wasn't a fluke. There's got to be another radiator up here. Here we go. Yeah, just iron. Here's another one. Let's try it one more time. Just iron. All right, I guess you can't get radiators from radiators anymore. Uh, oh, shit, this wall safe. Let's see. You think we can crack into it in a minute and 19 seconds? Beautiful, with 25 seconds to spare. Ooh, a laser light and a level 3 iron sledgehammer. Got to make some room here. Oh, we got some crazy vultures out here attacking the house. Here's one. Oh, a little too eager on that trigger again. Here you go, fucker. I got one for you too, you ugly ass chicken. Actually, I don't think vultures are related to chickens. I think they're related to, like, hawks and eagles. Except these evil sons of bitches only feed on things that are about to die or already dead. That's why they attack me so much, because I'm dead on the inside. 
Hey, Rick, back again. Let me get my reward. Sawed off shotgun mod or the coffee recipe. I'm gonna have to go sawed off shotgun mod. Let's do it. And he's got no special jobs, so we're gonna have to take a regular job, and the closest one is this buried supplies. Perfect. We should be able to knock this one out quickly. And uh, if we have to do another one after this, we should have time to do that. Even if we just get the trader unlocked by the end of this episode, and don't get to actually go out and visit the new trader, I'll still be happy, as long as we get that shit unlocked and we know where it's at. There we go. Uh, before we grab that, though, I don't think we have a way out of here. Let me just dig this block out so we can jump out of this hole easy. Because once I grab this, uh, the zombies are going to show up. Nice. I forget how much food you get out of those buried treasure supplies, and since I have supply drops turned off, we should do those buried supplies more often. They kind of ensure you always have a decent amount of canned food on you. Hey, Rick, me again. I know, you're tired of seeing my face? Well, I'm the only fucking one here, so deal with it. Without me, you have nobody. I'm taking that drum magazine book, and I'm going to take this spear hunter book, too. Rapid hits with the spear do more damage, and there we go, a special job. Opening the trader route. Me? Okay. I bet you wouldn't do Let's do it. Just past hour 15. It's going to be quite a long ride. But we can make it there and back in time. And even if it does fall into night, we're on a mini bike. Nothing to worry about. I do need to stop home, though, because we've got some stuff there that I want to sell. Plus, all my coin is there, and since we're going to a new trader, there might be some stuff we want to buy. All right, I think that'll do. Let's go. Hour 16, we've got four kilometers to cover. Two there and two back. We still need to find an engine for our cement mixer. So we can take some cars apart on the way there or on the way home. Try and do that, and then that'll be all of our goals for today. Got the trader unlocked. We'll be able to put together the cement mixer, and we already have everything we need for the chem station. Except maybe I might have to craft some more forged iron out of the forge, but that's not a big deal. And bam, there's the engine. Sweet. And a battery. Can't complain about that. All right, now we don't have to stop anymore for cars. We can just get to the trader and get back. Hopefully still have a little bit of time left over. And we can try to even do some more looting when we get back to our hometown. Now, this has got to be new right here, the Navisgain High School. I've never seen that before. We definitely have to check that place out. And that'd make one hell of a horde base, too. We'll mark it on the map on our way back home, so we don't forget about it. What the fuck is going on here? We did leave our town, right? I didn't just drive around in circles, did I? <laughs> what the hell? Another Rick? What are we, in the fucking Twilight Zone here? This is strange. Uh, hey, Rick, you're not gonna believe this, but, uh, you sent me. I guess I'll buy the wood splitter mod. We haven't found one of those yet. It's pretty cheap. He doesn't have anything else that's interesting. It's got these tier two jobs, though. We should probably do one that's farther away. Oh, look at this. A fetch and a clear in one. Let's do that. You the man. Hopefully it's back towards our town. No, it's the opposite direction. Well, we'll get it done. Rick number two, which is what I'm calling this Rick, his inventory restocks on day 10. Well, both Rick's inventories restock on day 10, so maybe that's when we'll do this quest. Come back out here and see Rick number two, and then maybe raid that Navisgain High School at the same time, which let's stop back there right now and get that marked on the map, because, like I said, I definitely want to raid that place, and I definitely want to use it as a horde base. Here, let's raid this little passing gas. If we wait till we get back to our town, it'll be too late to loot anything, whereas we can do this right now, and even if it does roll over into night, like I said earlier, we're on a mini bike. We can cruise home with no worry. Any zombies in here? No? How about in the mechanic shop? Oh, we're waking them up. Grab that stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, I guess there was a zombie in that main lobby. Let's go back out this way. Close that door. He drop in from the ceiling, or maybe from the bathroom here. 
Yeah, I'm Russian. Russian a little bit too much. Call me, call me Vladimir, because I'm Russian. A couple of painkillers. Let's check this trash. Scrap that lead trophy, take that glass jar, and man, we need lead. We need a lot of lead, we need a lot of nitrate powder and coal for gunpowder, especially since we're crafting a chem station tonight. So one of these days here, we need to take that candy we bought that increases the amount of harvest you get from mining and go out and mine all of that shit. We also need to obviously find our horde base for night 14, figure out what we want to use. That'll probably be something we do tomorrow. Cruise around and try and uh, find a spot that's going to work. A couple of bicycle handlebars. We'll hold on to those. You need handlebars to craft the auger. Bicycle frame. Don't really need that, but I'll hold on to it anyway. I don't think you can sell that thing. We got some zombies above. Nice. 24 repair kits. I think that's all the loot down here. Let me just double check over here. Make sure there's not another box under there. Nope, there's not. And I don't think there's anything in here. Except for some cobblestone. Let's get out of here. Paper mill would work for a Knight 14 horde base. I've made a base there before and it did well. Except we need to remember to take that ladder out right there that leads up to the top floor. Because that fucked me last time. So, as long as we remove that ladder, we can put together something decent here at the paper mill. This could work here for Knight 14. Just open that place up, clear it out on the inside, bust a few holes in the rooftop. Put down some bars and a hatch, so you can open the hatch and still use throwables like pipe bombs and molotovs, and that's pretty much it. You know, you have to build something on the rooftop, though, to protect you from vultures. Again, none of that would take that many resources or that much time to do. So that could be the winner right now. From what I've seen, that's the winner for Night 14. But in the next episode, we'll take a closer look around town and see if we can find anything better. Alright, uh, one thing I wanted to do... Oh, shit! This motherfucker! Do you believe that? Oh, he must have saw me kill his friends before, and he was just waiting for me, dude. Patiently waiting for me to get home. I respect that level of psychopath, but... On the other hand, fuck this bird. Okay. What I was gonna say... Maybe he was hiding in that tree. Um... Is I want to expand this base a little bit. So let's knock out this framework here. And basically, I just want to build it out. And we can leave this wall here that I built, the, the, the cobblestone wall. We can even leave the door in place. And that can just be like a separator wall. Maybe? I don't know. Should we do this or should we just build up? That might be more interesting. Instead of building out, we could build up, you know? Alright, we got to knock out all this bullshit here. We got to knock out the entire roof, actually. And then we can put in a ceiling for this room. And then build another room on top of this room. And we can either put in a staircase or just a ladder going up. Ladder's probably the better move, since we don't have much space down here. Alright guys, I'm going to get together what we need to craft the chem station and get that thing moving. Then get our inventory all sorted and organized, and we'll pick things up here on the morning of day nine. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Apocalypse 2, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.